Welcome my dear students, after finishing our lessons, we will do a final revision about all ideas in our lesson. Let's start. <music> Choose the correct answer, number one, 67.5 minus 55.67. To subtract any two decimal numbers, the number of decimal parts must be equals. There is one decimal part, there is two decimal part, so I will put zero on the right. Zero minus seven can't be borrow one. Five became four, zero became ten. Ten minus seven equals three. Four minus six can't be. Borrow one from seven. Seven became six and four became 14. 14 minus six equals eight. Don't forget decimal point. Six minus five equals one. Six minus five equals one. The answer will be 11.89. Three, the set of 13.303. We know that this set contain only one element, only one number, 13.303. So three not belong to this set. Three not belong to this set. Note that its element and its set, the relation between any element and a set is belong to or not belong to. Number three, 86.4 divided by 100. When we divide any decimal number by 100, we should move decimal point to the left. Two parts, one, two. So the result will be 864 thousands. Number four, 4.25 times 1,000. Any decimal number times 1,000, we should move decimal point to the right three, three, three parts. One, two, three. So the result will be 4,250. Phi and another set. We said before that the relation between phi and another set, phi subset from any set. So the relation between phi and the any set is subset. Number six, if the set of three and the x minus three equals the set of three six. Equality between two sets. It means that all elements in this set equals all element in another set. Here three and here three x minus three should be equal to six. x minus three equals set. Number minus three equals six. This number should be nine. Nine minus three equals six. Number seven, the set of one with two union, the set of two and three. I will write all elements in two sets without repeating any elements. So I will write one, two, and three. the altitudes of the acute angled triangle intersect. Acute angled triangle, its altitudes intersect in one point inside the triangle. We said before that altitudes of obtuse angled triangle will be intersect in one point outside the triangle. But acute angled triangle intersect inside the triangle. Number nine, the set of one, three, four. Difference, the set of four, six, seven. Difference mean I will write all elements in the first set and doesn't exist in another set. We know that one and three, one and three, 
the answer will be one and three. One and three exist in the first set and never exist in the second set, so the answer will be one and three. Number 10, if x subset from y, then x intersect y equal. x subset from y, it means the x inside y. x small set and y large set. We said before, intersect between a small set and the big set equals the small set. Since x subset from y, so x intersect y equals the x. In triangle has three altitudes. Probability of certain event is, probability of sure event is one. We know that, we know that probability of certain event equals one and the probability of impossible event equals zero. Number 13, 11.5749 nearest to one thousandth. We know that thousands digit is four. The number on the right in 10,000 is nine. We know that nine is a rich number. So nine will increase four, four will be five. So the answer will be 11.575. 39 days nearest two weeks. We know that week equals seven days. To convert from days to week, we will divide it by seven. 39 divided by seven. It's a proper fraction. I will convert it to mixed number. Denominator the same, 39 divided by seven equals five and the remainder will be four. Remember that four sevens more than half. So four sevens will increase five to be six because four sevens more than half. Another exercise, the second exercise completes the following. Number one, one and two fifths times five sevens. It's a mixed number times a fraction. It's better to convert mixed number to improper fraction. Put the same denominator five. One times five equals five plus two equals seven. Times five over seven. Seven fifths times five sevens. Note that seven fifths is multiplicative inverse of five seven. Any fraction times its multiplicative inverse equals one. The space is the longest chord in the circle. Diameter is the longest chord in the circle. Diameter. The altitudes of right angled triangle intersect eight. Altitudes of right angle to triangle intersect at vertex of right angle. Vertex of right angle. Seven thousand eight hundred eighty-five divided by one thousand. Any whole number divided by one thousand, we will put decimal point after three digits from the right. One, two, three. The result will be 7.885. Number five, 572.3 centimeter nearest to two meter. We will convert from centimeter to meter. To convert between the small digit and two large digit, we should be divided by. The relation between meter and centimeter is 100. So we will divide by this. 100. We will divide this number by 100. We will move decimal point to the left two digits. One, two. The result will be 5.723 meter. Nearest two meter means nearest two unit. In tens, seven. Seven rich number, so it will increase five to be six meter.
Number six, the set of four and five intersect the set of two, three, and four. Intersect mean the common element between two sets. We note that four is the common element between two sets. So the intersection will be the set of four. The decimal form of the fraction three-fifths is to convert in fraction to decimal, the denominator must be 10 or 100 or 1,000. Five to be 10, it should times two, three-fifths. We will multiply numerator and denominator by two, three times two, five times two. The result will be six over 10 equals six tenths. Another exercise from the opposite Venn diagram complete. X complement equals, X, X complement means the, element, the elements belong to U and do not belong to X. X complement means the elements outside the X. Outside X, five, six, and seven. So X complement will be the set of five, six, and seven. X difference Y. X difference Y means elements belong to X and do not belong to Y. Element belong to X and do not belong to Y. We note that one and four belong to X and do not belong to Y. So X difference Y equals one and four. Another example. If the price of one piece of sweet is 4.25 pounds, what is the price of 36 pieces of the same? We will do multiplication between 4.25 times 36. To multiply any decimal number by whole number, rewrite the decimal number without decimal point. Rewrite the decimal number as whole number. 425 times 36. Six times five equals 30, put zero and carry up three. Six times two equals 12 plus three equals 15. Put five and carry up one. Six times four equals 24, plus one equals 25. Don't forget zero. Three times five equals 15, put five and carry up one. 3 times 2 equals 6 plus 1, 7. 3 times 4 equals 12. 0 plus 0, 5 plus 5 equals 10. Put 0 and carry up 1. 1 plus 5 plus 7 equals 13. Put 3 and carry up 1. 1 plus 2 plus 2 equals 5. And bring 1 down. There is two decimal parts, so... I will put decimal point after two digits. The result will be 153 pounds. Another example, the last exercise. A box contains eight yellow balls, five blue balls, and seven red balls. If one ball is drawn randomly, then the probability that the draw balls is yellow. We should write the probability as fraction, numerator and denominator. Denominator will be the number of all outcomes. 8 plus 5 plus 7 equals 20. Denominator will be 20. Probability that the drone ball is yellow. Yellow, 8 yellow balls. So numerator will be 8. 8 over 20. It's better to write this fraction in the simplest form. So when divided by four, eight divided by four equals two, 20 divided by four equals five. The probability equals two fifths. The probability that the drone ball is not below. Probability written as fraction, its denominator is the number of all outcomes. So denominator will be 20. Probability that ball is not blue. Not blue means the ball will be yellow or red. Yellow, eight, red, seven. Eight plus seven equals 15. 
it's better to write this fraction in the simplest form. So we will divide this fraction by five. 15 divided by five equals three. 20 divided by five equals four. So this probability equals three fourths. I hope you understand. See you in another video. Thank you.